I am back in Ohio with Jaden and Kobe the Bloodhounds and we are starting our return trip back to California. I also have a little puppy I just picked up in Kentucky. This is Miss Gina. She is a puggle. She's a little nervous but she is a sweetie pie. You see her little tail wagon. She doesn't like to pee inside of her crate because she knows better. So she's got a nice comfy blanket and some water. This trip from California to Ohio usually takes about four days. We're gonna do this return trip back to California in about five because we kind of started on a half day around two o'clock p.m. and got to Nashville. Um, and then I have to drop little puppy Gina off in Dallas, Texas. And then we're gonna go up north a little bit back to Colorado. I've got a regular client that I'm picking up there, a little French Bulldog who's coming back to California with us. So it adds about a day to our trip. So it'll be about five days. I look forward to this trip. We just had a bunch of tornadoes come through here yesterday. <laughs> so, um, but now it's great. All the leaves are on the ground. Um, it's beautiful here. I lived in Nashville for about a year and a half. So it's kind of fun to come back and I have family who live in Memphis. So it feels a little bit like home when you come through here, especially in the fall time. inevitably happens when I use this tandem leash is that we can't all agree about which way we're going. But they're so cute when they walk together. It's breakfast time for Kobe. Hi little one. Mm -hmm. It's my good Kobe. You want to go for a walk? Let's go. Kobe's definitely just picked up a dead bird. He <laughs> was holding it into his mouth like a prize. And I thought it were I thought they were leaves at first. I was like, why is he holding those leaves in his mouth so funny? But no, it was a dead bird. And so I had to like pry his mouth open because I didn't want to actually touch the bird myself. So oh, that's the last thing we need right now is <laughs> Kobe swallowing a dead bird. Baby, it's okay. You get the best seat in the house. Look at this little sweetie pie. They, oh, thank you for those kisses. We're just having a little cuddle break. Because cuddle breaks are important. Right, baby? Yeah. Cuddle breaks are important. <laughs> She doesn't know quite what to think. She wants it, but she doesn't know how to take it. Ready to go back inside? Here we go. Ready? All right, up. Up. Good boy. Kobe, are you ready? Kobe usually takes a little bit of coaxing to get him to come back in. Kobe! Usually we have to do some pets first and then he'll be motivated. Hey, excuse me, Kobe. Come on, time to go. He sees the food over there. Come on, up. This boy is always hungry. Come on, let's go up. Let's go. Come on, up. Up. Kobe, come on, up. Let's go. Kobe, up. Good boy. Let's get this off. Oh, you're so dramatic. You've just got cuddles and peas and food. You have a toy. Yeah. You're too cute.
bless you. Oh my goodness. You okay, honey? Okay, brothers. Be nice to each other. Ow! That was me. <laughs> and he's down. Three, two, one. And Kobe's the winner. Next stop is Rocky Ford, Colorado. We're gonna pick up Mr. Bugs again and he's coming back with us to California. Good job, Bugs. We are on our last... Hi, buddy. You just had your walk. We're on our last two days here. And these guys will finally be back home in California. They have done so well. I know they're tired of driving, um, but they are champs. Isn't that right, my friend, Mr. Prince Kobe? But I know their parents are gonna be so relieved to have them back home too. We're driving through uh, New Mexico today. We came from Colorado. We picked up our friend Bugs, the French Bulldog again. And so he's gonna join us back to California and we'll probably stop in Flagstaff, Arizona tonight, which is one of my favorite cities. All right, let's go, up, up, inside. Here we go, inside, up, good boy. All right, here we go. Pups are locked and loaded, ready to go. such a beautiful view today, guys. Look at this. All right, so Kobe and Jaden have just made it home to Santa Ana, California, and now I get the lovely job of emptying out the van, cleaning it, getting all the pet hair out, and then installing all of the seats again. So let's do it! When you use rental cars as much as I do, constantly having to clean up stubborn pet hair, especially in a big van like this, I found a trick where I took this empty canister and my tape made a giant lint roller basically. And it works great. It works a little faster than a regular lint roller, especially when I have all of this real estate to get pet hair off of.
So I got all the two seaters back in and now I've got to put this three seater in and try not to break my back while I do it. I think I can do it guys. I think I can do it. It's done. Although I didn't do it myself. I was lucky and I had a neighbor help me. So don't do this by yourself folks. Spoon.